one thing that I've been wanting from day one, and you guys know what it is already, was camera mode. Camera mode, probably one of uh, God's best creations when it comes to video games, is because, you know, you can take pictures of your video game characters and your footage, and you can upload it to the world, and you can show it everywhere. But uh, the thing is that um, I wanted this feature in a, uh, for a long time. So, I do want to read an article. This comes to us from that comes from that park place. Here we go. Stellar Blade director promises team is working on photo mode and will add more costumes. Yes, more angles, chat, more upskirts, a down blouse, a side boob, uh, under boob, and dick boob. All right, let's, let's read this. It says, uh, Stellar Blade director Kim Hyung Tae provided an update on the game following the announcement of a brand new patch promising that the development team is working on a photo mode as well as additional costumes. So that's pretty damn good, right? On May 23rd, Stellar Blade announced that the game added ne a new boss challenge mode that allows players to replay defeated bosses with new settings. It's also added a new Neural Link suit as a reward for defeating all the bosses in the new boss challenge mode. There were also a number of bug fixes and gameplay improvements such as an auto lock on option when exiting ranged mode and an option to always show the compass in HUD as well as in, uh, increasing the time limit for puzzles, which you already know about this. We covered this uh, a couple days ago, but this is all the stuff. Now, while discussing this new patch and the update from Famitsu, Kim revealed the development team is working on a new photo mode. As translated via Google Translate, he detailed, quote, unfortunately, we can't deliver it right away, but we would like to implement it. If we do implement it, we want to make it high quality. Mmm, baby. Ooh. Eh, yes. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, anyways, uh, uh, so we are currently working on it. Please uh, wait a little while. Now, here's the thing. Uh, in Final Fantasy 15, there was this bestiary, right? So in Final Fantasy 15, there was bestiary. We can actually zoom up and see all the characters and all the games and all the stuff like that, right? So you can zoom up and see Noctis, Aranea, which is uh, waifu material. Uh, with, you, you can see, uh, what's it called? Noctis. Uh, that, um, what's it called again? Oh, we were saying Noctis. Uh, Ignis, uh, Gladio, Prompt, uh, Prompt, uh, Prompt, Prompt Dicko. And uh, a bunch of, uh, and you can see the the, the 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 summons and everything, right? The only one summon that you can't zoom in on was Shiva, right? And there's there's a lot of reasons why. So let me actually uh, pull this up right over here. So Shiva FF15, right over here. All right. So Shiva is basically wearing underwear. He's basically just wearing underwear. Which is uh, I'm all for. Okay, make sure make sure my safe search is on. All right, so here's here's the thing. So um, right over here. So basically, she's just wearing lingerie, and the thing is that you can actually see her ass. Like she has some nice cheeks, right? Like if you actually look at it right over here, right? You you can't really you can only zoom in that much. You cannot zoom in more than you need to. So uh, there, there's a bunch of, uh, see right over here, this is near the end. This is at the end of the boss fight when you fight uh, Ifrit, right? And the thing is that this game was censored in different places. As you can tell right over here, this was censored right over here. They added this weird blue skin garbage, which is awful. Get that shit out of my sight, man. So the thing is, they did not allow this to happen in Final Fantasy 15, right? They, over here, you can get, like, they, they turn around and you can see her ass cheeks. They're quite nice. But in Stellar Blade, don't you dare do that to me! Don't you freaking dare. I need everything to be seen in glorious 4K. I'm gonna print out a cardboard cutout and put it back there. But yes, uh, the thing is that if we're, if we're gonna do photo mode, it, it has to be, you can zoom in as, as close as you can. Like, it, it has to be, right? And the thing is that if it's gonna be high quality, we are all here for it, right? Yeah, I got to give the people what they want. Exactly, man. Exactly. As for the photo, uh, as for what the photo mode would be, Kim noted we are considering various features. So please wait. Uh, also, he also confirmed that the developers plan to add in more costumes, informing the outlet. Yes, some will be added to the version update on 24, which has already came out five days ago. Uh, we plan to add more costumes to the feature. So please look forward to them. Uh, the game's technical director Lee Dong Ji. 
Also detailed, there might be improvements and additions to fishing and, and can collecting in the future. Hmm, I wonder if they're gonna add more cool stuff, right? More cool stuff for can collecting, maybe more uh, variations of the ocean mate outfit, where it's, uh, her ass gets bigger, I don't know. We asked about what impressed him from players following the game's release. He said, I was very happy to see people enjoying fishing and collecting cans, filling up their databanks and thinking about the worldview. At the same time, I began to think that I would like to continue to enrich these elements in the future. As far as the possibility of a sequel, Kim confirmed that Shift Up is exploring options. He stated we are considering various plans for the possibility of producing a sequel. For example, it could be something that complements the story and worldview of this work, or it could be completely different work. We will decide based on what we want to deliver and add what we want to depict while watching everyone's reaction to this work. This is how developers should be, man. This is how devs should be. They should give the fans what they want. It's because if they give the fans what they want, people will come, people will buy the game. It's that simple. Uh, it was reported early this month by X user Okami13 that Shift Up was already considering developing a sequel based on documents concerning a company going public. Kami detailed, Stellar Blade developer Shift Up confirms both a PC version and a sequel under consideration. The PC one is going to be massive, right? The, the fact that this game sold, I believe, over a million copies just strictly on PS4, PS5 says a lot. Now, if this game goes to PC, it's gonna get e it's gonna get even bigger, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, but yes, photo mode is gonna be massive. New costumes are gonna be massive. Upskirts, down blouses, give me everything. I'm ready.